Good morning, guys. I am here for Lucy's seven month update, which is so exciting. She's getting so big and doing so many new fun things, but at the same time, it feels like the last seven months are just an absolute blur. Um, so we'll start with her size. I took her measurements this morning like I always do. Um, for her length or height, she is measuring in at 27 inches, which that one I always feel like I might not get quite right because it's hard for me to get her to straighten out her knee, um, you know, the whole thing. But that puts her in the 72nd, 72nd percentile, which is about right. At the doctor's office, she's been measuring about the 70th-ish percentile. So she's about 27 inches long. For her head circumference, it is 18 inches around, which puts her in greater than the 97th percentile. And her weight is 21 pounds, 9 ounces, which is also greater than the 97th percentile. So for clothing, I have been putting her in 6 to 9 and 9 month clothing, but we've also started to use, a little bit use her 9 to 12 and 12 month wardrobe. Um, they both fit her, but they do fit kind of differently. Um, so it kind of depends on the outfit, which one I will choose um, to put which size on. If it's something that's meant to be a little bit more fitted, we'll go ahead and do the 9 or 6 to 9. If it's something that's a little bit more flowy and forgive, you know, I can get away with it, we'll go ahead and do wear the 9 to 12 or 12 month. As far as shoes, she's still in a size 4, except for her saltwater sandals that are size 2. Um, her cloth diapers, I did have to go ahead and bump her up to a size large. About a week... Yeah. About a week after she turned um, six months old, she just started leaking through them because the fit was wrong. It was not a wash routine issue or anything like that. They were absorbing. Um, bless you. <laughs> bless you. Um, they just weren't fitting right. She had like plumber's crack and everything. So she was peeing through it super fast. So we bumped up to size large. On that note, she also has a few one size diapers, but even those look like they're on their way out. I know um, people say that, you know, oh, your baby eventually thins out, you know, once they get more mobile and they'll start fitting better. So we'll see. She's on the, um, the biggest rice setting on all of them. And uh, most of them, she's on the very outer snaps. So we'll see. Um, her eyes are still blue. Her hair is still coming in mostly on top. It gets longer and longer on top all the time and like it's fuzzier and still very light, like a sandy blonde mostly, um, lighter than I expected it to be, which is funny, but super cute. And she does now have two teeth. So her first tooth came in on my birthday. I was on the phone with my mom the evening before, um, just making plans about whether or not she was gonna come here for my birthday. And I looked down at Lucy, she was in her extra saucer, and she was just drooling like a faucet. Like it was just coming out like she has never drooled before. And then um, she was kind of gnawing on a block actually. And then nothing. Then she was fine. And it was not until like lunchtime the next day that um, she put my hand in her mouth and I was like, there's a tooth there. <laughs> I can feel it. It was poking out of the skin and you could see it. And it was just there. And so it like it comes up further in, you know, over the next week or two. And that was that. She had like no trouble at all with that first one. And then her second tooth, it was um, a much bigger ordeal. She was fussy. It was bothering her. She was having trouble sleeping because of the discomfort. Um, she Sometimes she would have trouble eating. Um, she was gnawing on everything. And then that one poked through um, exactly a week later. So, um... That one was more of a struggle, and we seem to be done with teething for now, I think. I don't know. But one of the things I definitely want to look... Yeah, it was an intense, intense week, huh? Um, so one of the things I definitely want to do for her is get her a teething necklace, an amber teething necklace. Um, it's something that I've thought about doing since she was first born, but obviously she wasn't teething then. I wasn't worried about it. And then when that first one came in so easy, I thought, oh, maybe she doesn't need that. But now that the second one was um, more drama, I think that maybe she could benefit from that. So um, I've been asking a lot of people, like, if I happen to see you have a picture of your baby wearing one, I will ask you where you got it. I just don't know where the best place to get one is. So 
If you have a place that you love getting your amber teething necklaces from, definitely let me know in the comments below so I can look into that. Oh, we are a hot mess. So oh, somebody is Snapchatting us. There you go. Um, so yeah, definitely let me know where you get your teething necklaces. Um, you know, I guess it's a good thing I have Apple Care, right? <laughs> Anything to get this video done. We did go ahead and get her a walker. She's walking all around my house. It took her about three days to figure out how to turn. So at first she would, well, in the very beginning she'd use both feet and just kind of push herself with both feet at the same time. And then the next day she started doing one foot in front of the other. And then um, took her another two days to um, figure out how to turn. She would just walk into a wall and then just bang into the wall a bunch of times or squeal for us to come turn her. But now she can pretty much get wherever she wants to go. We had already put all the um, covers on the outlets and we <laughs> we are now putting the um, locks on the cabinets because she can get in the kitchen and open the um, cabinets. And it's kind of fun because, you know, I can be headed to the kitchen to unload the dishwasher and before she would fuss just because she doesn't want to be alone. So I'll start heading that way and say, come on Lucy and she totally follows me. She does have a little bit of trouble getting over like the transition strips in our flooring sometimes. But for the most part, she can shove herself hard enough to get over them. Um, yeah, so she's really, really enjoying that. She also really loves to be outside. We started going to the yeah. We started going to the park this month. She loves the swings. She's a little bit indifferent about the slide, but loves being outside. And so sometimes if she's fussy, what? If she's fussy in the evenings. I will just take her out in our backyard, which has been a hot mess, but my husband's working on it and getting it ready for spring and summer, and so we um, sit out there, and she loves it, and um, she just likes to be outside. So on that note, since it's um, heading into summer, we live in California, and the sun is really bright and hot, what are your guys' favorite um, sunblocks to use for your baby? I just don't even know where to begin when, when um, looking for a sunblock for her. So right now, I've been careful about how much time we spend in the sun, um, but, you know, it's, we're going into summer. I still have not, I, just, I have no real excuse, I'm just a major procrastinator. I need to get on top of getting her into swim lessons because she still absolutely loves bath time, it's her favorite time of day, and um, I feel like it's just a safety thing, she needs to learn how to swim. So, I think she'll enjoy it because she enjoys water, but I also think, like I said, it's a safety issue. These videos are getting tougher to film because she's getting bored. Oh, and she's getting tired too. Shoot. Um, I guess I can talk about her normal daily routine. Um, normally she wakes up about 7.30, sometime between 7.30 and 8. She will take her first nap at about 11 o'clock. Yeah, which maybe we're going to take it early today. She takes her first nap at about 11 o'clock and that usually lasts, oh, boo -boo. that usually lasts about an hour. And then um, she has, she generally has a much better day if I get her out of the house. So um, after that first nap is when I try to go do something with her. If I don't have grocery shopping or an errand to run or something to do, we will either go visit um, my grandmother or we will go to the park or um, just go for a walk, something to get her out of the house. She just likes to be out and about. If it's raining, we might just go for a drive. Um, anything, anything to kind of break up the day. Then she does take a second nap that happens sometime between 3.30 and 4 o'clock. That's the nap that I mentioned last month. I just take that nap with her and cuddle with her. We were just doing that nap downstairs in my chair. Lucy was getting woken up down there because my stupid dog, <laughs> we love him, but he barks at every little thing. Um, if a bird goes flying by in the backyard, he barks and freaks out. And so that was waking her up a lot. So now for that afternoon nap, we come up to my bedroom and just cuddle and, and rest in my bed. So that's helped with noise and stuff, letting her get a longer nap. And so that one has also started lasting about an hour. Before it was only about 30 to 40 minutes. Now it's about an hour. <coughs> and um, then bath time happens at 7.30 and she's generally in bed asleep by about 8.15, 8.20 most nights. So that's Lucy's schedule. Um, she's still nursing. Um, she nurses about six times a day. She eats about every two hours. 
generally she doesn't wake up in the night for um, to eat. She has once or twice this month. And um, I try not to, if she wakes up in the middle of the night, I try not to just assume that she wants to eat. I will um, just go in and kind of pat her back and often she will stir back to sleep if she happens to wake up, which is super rare. But um, twice this month that has not been enough. Even picking her up and rocking her was not enough. She was hungry. She, she did um, like almost a full nursing session. So I don't know if that coincided a little bit with growth. It must have. But, um, you know, she almost never wakes up in the middle of the night. And when she does, it's not generally to eat. <coughs> Hi, guys. As I'm sitting here with Lucy and editing, I realized that I forgot to mention what's going on with solids. So I figured I would stick it in right here after I talk about her nursing. So um, we started solids just after she turned six months old. She was seeming so ready she was really, really interested in food, and basically she regrets that. That's what it boils down to. She, um, she's tried the avocado, sweet potato, carrots, green beans, apples. Um, I've given her a little bit of egg yolk on Easter. Um, I've given her a little bit of bread out of a donut. When I was eating a donut, I gave her a little bit of it. Not any of the glazing, just a piece of the bread in the middle. Um, I'm giving her some of those like Gerber crunchy things that are sweet potato. Um, I've tried a lot of different things. I've let her just play with purees or with whatever food. Um, she just doesn't like anything. And it's not like a weird, like she makes a face like this texture's weird and I'm trying to get used to it. It's, she won't spit it out, but she sits there and like gags on it and uh, 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 and eventually will swallow it, but it's like I'm torturing her. So for a while I would, um, put her in the high chair every single day and we'd try something until she got to a point where she was crying and mad and then we'd stop. And so at this point, I just feel like it's not been a good experience for either one of us up until this point, so we're taking a little break. So that's what's going on with solids. And back to the regularly filmed video. She's getting more and more vocal all the time. Um, her new sound is da 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 or sometimes she just says dad, dad. <laughs> so um, I think it's still not associated with Matthew, but she says it and it's cute. Um, what else are you doing, Miss Lulu? Um, she loves to sit up and play. She prefers to do that as opposed to being like on her back or coming on the floor. She can't get herself in that position. I have to do it for her. But once she's in that position, um, she does not like roll onto her back or fall intentionally to get down to roll around. Um, she will squeal until I pick her up or. Um, if she has fallen, if she's like reaching for a toy or something, and if she falls, I totally just like cheer and I'm like, yay, so that she doesn't freak out. And most of the time she doesn't cry. She's fine. She's resilient. Um, what else are you doing, Lulu? We paint her toes now, which, uh, which is really fun. I did a um, comparison video on the different nail polishes I have. I'll link that down below if you want to see it. But um, we've been painting her toes every couple of days, keeping them looking fresh and pretty because, you know, sometimes I don't even shower, but Lucy has to be, um, you know, fully accessorized with her sunglasses and everything. Uh, what else have we been doing, Lulu? <coughs> ah, we got her spring pictures back. I got, we got spring pictures about a week after she turned six months old. <coughs> yes. And so I got them back recently. I will put together a slideshow and hopefully have that up for you guys to see on Monday. You are such a nutcase. You don't want them to hear about you. Mm. You don't want them to hear about you. Mm. She also fake coughs now um, if we're not paying enough attention to her. She's a little bit of a sensitive kid. She does get her feelings hurt a lot, which is something that I haven't experienced before. When I was a nanny, none of the kids did that. But um, if we are, like, say she's in her extra saucer playing, if I happen to walk by, you know, just to get from one place to the next and I don't acknowledge her, she gets upset. Um, she, and it's like a hurt cry. Or when her dad comes home and he goes to um, the bathroom first before acknowledging her, she gets, that hurts her feelings. So that's been interesting. Poor girl. She, she does get her feelings hurt a lot. I don't know about a lot, but from time to time. Um, I've also finally picked out a birthday party theme, so I'm starting to um, make some plans for that. We're just going to do it here at my house, probably in the backyard. Like I mentioned, my husband's getting it cleaned up for spring and summer, so um, 
because we let it get, and turn into a hot mess <laughs> while we had a newborn. Um, but he's getting it cleaned up and we're gonna do her fun birthday party back there and I'm starting to um, make plans and I will start doing little projects here and there, so that's exciting. Um, I don't think I'm gonna tell you guys what the theme is. I'll, I'll let you be surprised, probably. I don't know, I've got five months to let it slip, so we'll see. Um, what else, what else? Lucy. I guess that's it, huh, Lucy? Um, we're on Snapchat now. I don't Snapchat all the time. Snap, I don't know. I'm not cool enough for the lingo. But we we do have Snapchat now, and the username is the same as here on YouTube. It's just Matt and M with two M's. You're more than welcome to add me, um, but I don't do it often. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> and on that note, I guess we are going to go and maybe take an early nap because she was yawning and stuff. We'll see what happens, um, and we'll see you guys next time. Huh? Say thanks for watching. I love you guys. I just do want to say real quick that I do love YouTube and I love all the friendships I've made. Um, some of the experiences I had with motherhood, I don't know what I would have done without you guys and all the advice that you give me and support and um, I don't know, I'm just feeling very thankful for YouTube right now. So anyway, Lucy and I will see you next time. Bye. I got these two nail polishes. I painted Lucy's toes. I did one one brand on each foot. So the piggy paint went on her right foot and the Elamila went on her left foot just so I could see how they um, compared who chipped faster